All right, today in this video, we're gonna talk about the six different types of policies you can get on your home. You know, there's uh, six basic different types of policies you can get, and I'm gonna talk about them um, in uh, first about the primary house, the one that you live in that's gonna also include coverage for the structure itself. Um, one of those is gonna be a homeowner or an HO3 as we usually refer to it as in the industry. Uh, that is gonna be a package policy that's gonna automatically give you coverage for your house, your contents, liability, med pay, uh, adjacent structures such as sheds or fences or something like that. As well as also your um, additional living expense. That's gonna be automatically all included in that. And basically they're all the uh, the different property coverages are all sublimits of the amount of coverage you have on your house. Basically, they're percentages of what that amount is that are in addition to the amount you have on the house. Um, sometimes people will have what is called an HO5. Now, an HO5 is basically the same thing as an HO3 or homeowners with the addition of an endorsement they call the 15 endorsement. At least that's what we call it. Now, obviously, that doesn't mean anything to you outside of this. Um, know that an HO5 is a more robust policy, meaning it's got more coverage in it, uh, that it will cover your contents, your personal property, against a broader spectrum of things that could happen to it versus a standard HO3. Now, both are excellent policies. Uh, you can compare the two. You know, your agent should take time with you to explain to you the differences. Uh, we're not going to go into it in this video you know, for the sake of time, but um, understand that that is two different options. The next thing that you're going to get is going to be a renter's policy. This is going to be a policy. We call it an HO4 in the industry, but uh, it's a renter's policy. This is for a home or an apartment that you rent, and you just want coverage for your liability and also all your contents. You know, understand that your landlord is not going to be responsible for your contents. So if something happens to it, such as a fire, or tornado or something like that, they're not gonna be responsible for that. Unless you have an, a, a renter's policy, you're not gonna have insurance coverage for those things. So if you have a claim, uh, you're gonna to have to pay for that out of your pocket. The next thing is gonna be a condo policy. It's also referred to as an HO6. Um, a condo policy is gonna give you coverage just like a renter's policy, with the exception of, you know, in a condo, you own something. Usually it's the space inside of the walls or it's uh, you know, from the inside of the studs inward. And you're going to be required to carry a certain limit for building or structure coverage. Um, that's how you get that is under a condominium policy or a condo policy or an HO6. Now the other two I'm going to kind of lump them in together. And that's a dwelling one or dwelling three. And those are a dwelling policy. If you remember from the other video, if you haven't watched it, you can go and take a look at it in the library. But it is a it is a policy for your home that you order a la carte. It's you want this coverage and this coverage and that coverage. And each coverage you ask for, you have to pay a premium for. So the two differences between a dwelling one and dwelling three are <clears throat> dwelling one typically, not always, but is usually an actual cash value policy, meaning it depreciates on a claim. We'll talk about that a little bit more on another claim, I mean on another video. Uh, a dwelling three typically, but not always, is a replacement cost policy, meaning they're going to give you new for old. They're not going to depreciate. So so that's the, that's the six different basic type of policies. Uh, depending on your situation, you know, you will need a customized policy for your needs. You know, feel free to reach out to us. You can text us, email us, call us. Uh, check, it, check out the contact information on side of our website or also inside of uh, you know this video here. Reach out to us. We'd be glad to help you any way we can and answer any questions you have. And uh, glad to help you in any way that we can. So thank you and hope you have a good day.